Hello. Yes, I think it's fine now. Let me check. I'll try. Hello. Yes, I think it's good now. Thanks for letting me know. Sound on. Yes, I think it works now. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, I will repeat again. Good evening from Amsterdam. Sunset time is about 40 minutes later. Days are getting shorter. Today we will be walking around Centrum. It's gonna be one hour approximately. And thanks for joining me on this tour in Amsterdam Centrum. I'm a little bit tired, so I will make it shorter. Uh, only one hour walking tour together in the evening time. It's the most crowded time in a Monday. And a Monday, Monday, but uh, still, I, I put the title as Rush Hour. However, uh, still a lot of people work at home, work from home. So still, there are not many people on the streets after uh, uh, working time after 5:30. Normally, it's uh, way too crowded, too many bicycles around Amsterdam canals and streets. Paula Mello, Carmela, hello. Leo Hartmann, the UK Northern, hello. And thanks, I like turtles, I am moderator. Colleen Gambia, hello. Michael, David, David from UK. David Noviello, hello. Tommy Roberts, good evening. And hello, Ehom. Right, let's start to, to our peaceful walking journey. Start with our famous lovers tour, <laughs> lovers company, boat cruises. So it's 14 Celsius, a bit windy and chilly weather, but still warmer than the seasonal average. Last year it was even more colder. But tourist cruises are still working. As you can see, it's almost full. There are so many people inside. Hello, Eric B. As you can see, construction is still going on in Amsterdam Central Station area. Thanks, Marcio. Hello, Moldova. Sorry. A family on a bike tour. Right. Despite this Monday, today I saw a lot of tourists on the streets. I think because of Amsterdam Electronic Dance Music Festival, there are more tourists on the streets still. Still they are, they are here. But mo mostly I heard French and German accents. So this time I'm not going to Damrak. I think we are bored about Damrak for today, I mean for this week. So let's turn to Singal side. You see how many bicycles are parked on the centrum in the centrum.
some of them are staying here forever. <laughs> New one has just arrived. Hello, Israel. Yeah, here. Thank you. This decoration is new. Uh, I've seen this for two weeks. It's a decoration company, Bake Wilder Company. They put this decoration for advertisement display decoration Christmas is coming also center class and the new year so there will be more decoration on the streets soon trees will be enlightened I think in two or three weeks they will make it This is the busiest time for the locals. They finish their job, some of them <clears throat> go to sport clubs and some of them are going out for shopping, for dinner preparation or to the restaurants. Hello Malta Network Resources. Welcome. Let me remind you, I do these walking tours at least three times a week. This weekend was busy, so I made uh, four live streams, I think, as I remember. This is fourth one all. So if you like this kind of tours, uh, subscribe to the channel to get notifications when I do or become a member I share the location exact date and time with members earlier hello Palomelo hope you are well if you want to support and become a member click the join button and check the options if you wish let's take a look to Singer Singer canal This is Harlemer Sulaus, Harlemer Lok. That one is Harlemer Lok, and this is Singal Canal, the first canal of Canal Belt. This is the oldest one. And next to that, Herrenkracht, Kaiserkracht, Prinzenkracht, the other three famous canals of Amsterdam in UNESCO, UNESCO Heritage Amsterdam Canal Belt. Those are touristy coffee shops, coffee shop store, bulldog, bulldog hemp shop, and coffee shop Amsterdam. So now I'll be heading to Harlemerstraat today because I'm a bit tired and I don't have much time. This live walking tour will be approximately one hour. I chose this direction, it's easier to me. Alamastrat. It's the gorgeous building in the beginning of Alamastrat.
Good morning, New Zealand, Tanya. Welcome to our walking tour together. There are lots of garbage. Should be garbage day today. Those are pepper garbage. This is carton day. There are more. <laughs> Look at that, Chinese oil, I think, wow, good one, it's a beautiful Chinese oil. This looks good, meaningful. And that cup also. I'm sure it's very expensive. Thanks, Gambia. I also love this street. It's always vibrant, no matter what time it is. This building is interesting with its decoration. It's historic decoration. There are some symbols, some animals on the wall. Snakes, birds, and some other freaky animals. Hello, 11101, 1101 experiment. Thank you. Welcome. Royal Seed Bank souvenirs. It's not a financial one. Someone put a television out. Amsterdam souvenir shop. Let's take a look. Two t shirts. City of Bike, cannabis. Amsterdam, Amsterdam. By the way, uh, on my channel also there is a merchandise option. There are some t-shirts and cups that you can check. However, uh, one of my friends is currently designing a new, new image for our t-shirts. Soon I will publish more creative and better t-shirt designs on the channel. Definitely better than these classical Amsterdam tourist crabs. So you will see them I think in lately two weeks. Another coffee shop Amsterdam is here. I think it's the same brand, the one I we saw previously. That. There is another art here. Again, something related to sea. Scapes groove. National Garbage Day. Celebrating National Garbage Day. Outside stink areas are empty, that's pretty. So far. One hour later maybe will be more crowded, but it's Monday. We don't expect too much from today. <laughs> Thanks, Paolo. This is old headquarter, former headquarter of West India Company. Nowadays, it's restaurant. 
You know, West India Company is famous with its slave trading. They can call it spice trading, but we all know that it's about slavery yeah. trading mostly, right? <laughs> And I know they are the ones who brought African slaves to U.S. But it's within us. Government, please don't watch the video. You will be angry. Wow, it's a good light ambience for your guest at your home. Which one, left or right? Right is more funny, I guess. And a flamingo. This is nice. Is there a price on it? Wow, well, the skull is... Um, 25 euro. Yeah. Toilet closet, 38 euro. Wow. But I saw some interesting ones in Japan four years ago and there are more interesting ones in Japan more expensive definitely it's ultra comfort for the rich people <laughs> I saw Panasonic toilet closet in Japan Panasonic with a remote control just imagine what you can do with that remote control in toilets big Americans are they here Big Americans, I think no. Hi, Arkandi, hello. Hi, Michael. Barney's. We are next to Barney's coffee shop since 1986. There's a test locket here, it's for travel. You can get a travel certificate from here. Uh, so it's a, actually a testing place. Another Barney is here. I don't know if it's the same Barney, same brand. Barney is uptown. You see, Amsterdam, Russia is all about bicycles. <laughs> this street is close to vehicles and scooters also. This is, I mean, indefinite hours only for bicycles. Bicycles are allowed only. That's why it's peaceful and serene. This is a former church. Nowadays, it's an event center, I think. Post on Kerk. Post office church, I think. You can rent the place for your parties. Also, there is a restaurant cafe inside. In normal times today is closed, I think. Hello, Texas Tot.
Oh, it's a handmade beautiful bike here. Look at that. Wow. Should be belong to a mother. Should be belong to a mother here. What details. It's nice. They didn't wink up. With that. By this item, you are helping to keep the shop open. Oh, there's a vintage. Oh, I saw Bob Ross. Here he is. Do you remember this guy? Famous funny painter. Let's draw a tree here, right in the middle of Harlem Strat. Thanks for hitting the like button, guys. It helps me to be more recommended through YouTube. You know, normally I don't do walking tours on weekdays. Today is exception, but if I can get more motivation from your service, I can do more. Bob Ross painting the Golden Girls. Wow! <laughs> Some canal view, a little break to me. Let's have a look around. So this Harlem Dyke is goes until Wester Park. But today it's not vibrant in that area, so instead I will walk through canals. I wait bicycle traffic. Let's move on. This is how they protect Amsterdam. In case someone comes from Herenkracht, Heren Canal, they protect Harlemer Strat with this. On sunny days, this is a great place to chill. You can walk down from here, and there is a cannon can protect you while you are chilling. Uh, with clothing, care for homeless people. Thanks for the additional info, Gambia. Nice letters. Remember, you told me when it's over, we will something. Greetings are in from Indonesia. Hello. 
Let's take a selfie with this beautiful view. Maybe I can make it thumbnail. Yes, I think this is better. Hello Israel, Asyoko. The building date of this bridge is written over there, let's see, 1754, so it's here since from 1754. Thank you Alexander Squarm. I'm Michael, we walked in the previous videos, I think we can walk again sometimes later. Of course, we will be covering out of red zone. Except red zone, we can walk around near the ice after wall or other rides. This prison craft, the last canal of Amsterdam Canal Belt, the longest one and the most beautiful, most popular one. Already we can see Wester Toren. Here it is. Right. Should we go over there? Uh, yes, let's do it yeah. on the other side. Yeah. There are some renovations, constructions over there, and it's empty. Waiting for the cycling traffic again. This is a rental bike or if it's it's called it's around 13 or 14 Celsius, but it's a bit windy. So I have a t-shirt inside and a polar and a rain jacket so it's not really good cold to me because i still don't wear my heavy jacket the warm one i can still walk around with my spring jacket the lighter one but i think in two weeks probably i will be wearing uh, my hunting gloves because I hold the camera all the time so the weather will be more chilly in two or three weeks I expect so what I do is I check the weather forecast every day every morning during the day I check the wind speed, I check the rain, if there is rain or not. Uh, I check different times, what is in the morning, what is in the midday, what is in the evening, etc. Because of the camera works, I have to check. Otherwise, I will just wear my rain jacket and I will go out. But for the camera things, sometimes I need extra accessories. If there is too much wind, I have to use extra accessory or another camera, etc. Or if it's too windy and too rainy at the same time, I just cancel all the plans. No video on that day. You're welcome, Michael. 
Fred, can you walk to Jordan? Another time we can walk. We can make a specific Jordan walking tour another time. Today I don't have that much time. But we did before. You can check my previous videos also. We did a few times. Thank you, Alexander. So, there are some boat houses. What I like most about the old Amsterdam buildings, the windows are huge. A lot of viewing space from inside. Hi, Bora. Have a good trip in advance, Erwin. Usually I don't have time for meetings, but if you see me on the streets, do not hesitate to say a hello. This is an interesting one, this boat house. It is like a nuclear submarine. Some other traditional Amsterdam windows with historic cups. Bones of here. This one is from 1661, and there are some images on the wall. As I know, those are represents the profession of the owner. If it's a company building, for example, it shows, it shows uh, what is the business about. Or if it's a house, it represents the job of the owner or the people who live. Hello, Derli Vash. Every time I watch, I end up looking up flies and accommodation. That's great. Hope you can find a good one in a good time. Thank you for watching. Let's take a look where we are coming from. We were on the other bridge just 10 minutes ago. Merhaba from DC. Merhaba, Dado. <laughs> We have already some decorations here, even before Christmas time. I will not continue to prison craft, by the way. This is the last bridge look. Let's follow this street. Hello, Manchester, England. On the video description, by the way, you can see my social media accounts and our Discord server. You can ask your questions about Amsterdam and the Netherlands. You can chat with other members. And you can see our YouTube membership link if you would like to support more. Another beautiful and interesting bicycle is here. Look at that. Wow. This is a serious bicycle. Yeah. 
And what is that? Those dumb bot guys. This is a bot company. Bot company. Those dumb bot guys. The name of the company. And the bicycle is great. The bicycle is great. It's a combination of sheep and bicycle. Wow. This is the captain. Survival guide to the Dutch. I like this place. Nice. Some colorful dress for the ladies. A dress with Dutch houses. Oh, that's really good. Amsterdam. LG. Nice color. So the prices are written. It's 30 euro. Uh, the, they are t-shirts, I think. T-shirts are 30, I think. Indian restaurant. It's here. It's pretty most of the restaurants and bars are empty today. And the weather is getting colder, that means uh, there will be less and less customers because young generation is mostly unvaccinated in the Netherlands, so they prefer to sit outside because if you sit outside of the restaurants and bars, they don't check QR code, they don't need to check. So when it gets colder, no one is going to be sitting outside. Hello, Dave Silver, welcome. That's great. On a Monday evening, we have 194 people on the live stream. Thanks for that, everyone. The next one will be on Saturday, just for your information. Thank you, Fernando. Plato Loco, Caribbean cuisine. I haven't seen this before. We don't go Rezon, go to Rezon, Fernando. Ferdinand, so yes, I have some videos from Narden uh, in the future. I will visit again. Thank you. No cup shops and no Rezon, sorry. They are not in my focus on this channel. Red zone and cup shops. Wake up, kick ass, be kind, repeat. Kick ass and be kind at the same time. That's nice. Wow. 
is a fine bag and accessory specialized shop. Look nice, nice and expensive goods. Okay, where are we now? Let me check. It's getting darker. Our last 15 minutes, by the way. As many places, here is also some construction works. Never finish those renovation and constructions in Amsterdam. Martin, you don't need to be vaccinated to sit outside of a restaurant. I didn't say inside. I talk about outside area. Hello, Natch. Good evening. It's a single canal. Again, we are back to Singa. And that is the only reason I can show you here. Two windows, three windows. Yes, there is silver. In Amsterdam, it's true that usually they don't check. Unless if you don't look like an undercover, undercover agent, they don't check usually. The Craftsman Hotel is here. It's a hotel, I think, from 1652. Hello, Elizabeth, welcome. And hello, D. McCarthy. Sounds like we are getting hungry. Maybe Fabo can help you. <laughs> well, today's tour is short. The next time I will do that. I'm getting hungry, but not that much. Fabo is the next time. Next time, D. McCarthy. Okay, where are we going now? This goes to Spalstrat. Let's turn to the Centrum side. Because after the live stream, I will take my bicycle somewhere around Tarlemerstrat. We are over 200 people here. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Wow, how nice. So peaceful, sitting next to the canal on a houseboat and reading newspaper. It's great. They silver, hopefully, but uh, especially in the centrum, many of the restaurants, they have heaters outside. So if you sit outside, you don't need to provide any, anything, vaccination or PCR check, whatever. 
So if you find some heaters, restaurants, you can sit outside without any problem. But even if you go inside, I'm sure five out of ten place will not ask anything, probably. Giant pumpkins, not enough. Okay, this is the pumpkin I shared today on my Instagram. This is the heaviest pumpkin of Amsterdam this year. It weighs uh, around 530 kilograms. And there are many other smaller ones. Be part of this beautiful pumpkin garden. Share your pictures or make a donation. Amsterdam below it. The pumpkin is watching you. Wow. And this is a donation box. I don't have much, but I will put whatever I have. I think it's 2 euro and 50 cents. This is a preparation for a loan. This one is really looks looking good. Wow. You may ask yourself why all these pumpkins and flowers on this corner at Singa Canal and next to the red zone, there is a little red zone actually here. So it's not the best place for placing a garden. Also another thing next to the flower place there is a public urinary. That's another thing. So I will tell you the info. I read a document a article on a Dutch newspaper. It says one of the people who lives on this corner on this building somewhere uh, his name will be Kevin I can't remember actually uh so he saw a lot of time there are so many garbage here people put all the garbage here and they pee here etc it's a, such a dirt place imagine that there was no flower around here so he decided to put some flowers on this corner next to the garbage so he continued to put flowers every day and somehow when people saw, see the garbage uh, flowers they don't put any other garbage at the end. So this is what happened at the end. Once upon a time it was a garbage corner. Now it's a beautiful flower corner. And with that donations they put more flower here, more pumpkins, special things. For example that pumpkin, the huge one, uh, was brought here from another city with the uh, with the work of that man. This is the story of this corner. And next to the public, Rene. So one neighbor decided to put some flowers next to the garbage and other days people slowly started to become respectful to the environment that corner does one needs to be vaccinated to be inside restaurants or a negative taste is enough negative taste is enough uh, negative taste is enough or vaccination both are okay whatever you have they accept This building looks good, let me show you. Let's walk through this street, I love this place. This is one of the most peaceful corners, streets of Amsterdam, I think. I uh, know, 17, 18. Alexander Squan, uh, 10 euro for a beverage. Thank you so much for the super chat. 
I will use it after the video. Thanks a lot for your support. Clockwork Orange, it's Monday evening, dinner time. It was more crowded and the streets are... The streets we are walking now are already deserted usually. This is a peaceful area. So don't expect any crowd around this neighborhood. Especially on Monday evening. This is a gorgeous building. Probably if you have ever visited Amsterdam, you would remember this. Katangat, Katangat Centrum. But uh, I can't remember the building date and I can't see. Another time I will check. Because sunset is earlier and probably our live walking tours until April will be in the evening, like this, probably. And less live bicycle tours. For the newcomers, I do also live bicycle tours, but less than walking tours because walking tours are easier, especially in the evening. Tapas Lamour restaurant next to another history building. Can you go to the Bull Bulldog coffee shop? Uh, sorry, Jay, I don't prefer to visit Red Zone, the Wallen area, especially in the evening. But maybe another time. I know where is it, but it's in a difficult area between some windows. Okay, we are coming to the end. Almost we are at the same place we started. Thanks for watching. Another one will be on Friday or Saturday. But I don't know if it's Amsterdam or another city. He says, I am gay, I am gay, something. There's a little discussion. He's screaming about that he's gay and he called the police. <laughs> Police come now, he says. He or she, I don't know. <laughs> it's a good place to finish the video then. <laughs> Without seeing any trouble. Thanks everyone. Paolo Mello, Colin, Tibor. Uh, Clockwork Orange. Robert Santos, Matthias.
Devět jasmin. All right, this is the end of the video. See you Saturday or Friday, probably. Goodbye, good evening.